What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to round off where we left off, the, the Swedish have attacked our region. Well, previously theirs, but it is now ours. They have attacked us in Norway. And so they've got quite a quite a quality selection of infantry. So I'm probably going to want, want to actually play this defensively. Because, well, it's quite a decent army and mine's a bit depleted and a bit... It's It's fine. But I've got lots of artillery, so I really want to use that. So we'll be, it'll be uh, terrain. The battle will be fought in, but I'm going to pretty much want to use a lot of my, a lot of my artillery. Use that to my maximum advantage. Because while my army is standard, theirs is pretty elite. Like even though it's not got cavalry, um, I don't have cavalry either, and the units will beat me in the melee because Swedish infantry is a bit more advanced like that oh I'm <laughs> I am absolutely going to pull a patriot so if you guys have seen the film The Patriot you see how the American forces have deployed on the uh, downward slope of a hill as the British forces storm over that's what I'd kind of want them to see don't need it's too much infantry for the gap. Stress them out a bit more. Good. Deploy my infantry. Wherever my wherever my um, flanks are weakest, I'm going to advance them up. No, whatever. Wherever my flanks are strongest, I'm going to advance them up because there's no point. Um, shot if you don't want to do anything else. Oh, I fired round shot with the range of quick line. But I'm going to speed it up so it doesn't take forever for them to get here. But yeah, this looks like it would be super dodgy terrain to fight in. So right now it's just artillery trading shots. Yeah, they've got a... So what's that? They... Swedish 12 pounder. So, this is a unit they start off with. He's not even loading his gun. And their artillery is doing a lot of damage to me, so. Yeesh. I'm more than happy to return the favour. Good. And then we're just going to absolutely, absolutely pace this poor, poor unit of Grenadier Guards with quick lem shot. Get my artillery. I start to be a bit smarter with targeting my, my artillery. Look on this flank, engineers, grenadiers, and line infantry, grenadiers, and mercenaries. So let's be a bit more liberal with distributing my artillery firepower, and then let's spread it up a bit, speed it up a little bit, uh, so they get closer to my lines. That things get a bit more interesting. So I think we're about to start engaging on the left. Come on, the Mexican Marines. Present. Fire! Because it is raining. Shot, sir. Are they hitting us on the left? They are, we are engaging. Let's 
guard unit should eventually lose to a yes, grenadier unit, a foot line unit. So, Mon General, I'm going to want you to do. Hell of a flank. Got one of these infantry units going to take it, taking a hammering. But actually, all the people well, you, you are within range of one of the units. Hmm. So, not to engage, however, which is rather frustrating. I'll present before they get into close combat. Guard unit has fallen back. Good. Starting to retreat. The flank is starting to break. Yeesh. But it just goes to show. Um, I've got to really. Ooh, that's starting to waver. Target my artillery because I've not done that over here. Good, they're getting some delicious shots. They've missed, but they've destroyed the windows on that building. They're all still within range. Fourth foot guard. They're probably going to chase my general, but they're not going to catch up. This guard regiment is being pounded by multiple units. Poor swines. Someone, someone ran out of all their ammunition. Oh, it's my general. I was looking for that symbol. But someone's ran out of ammo. Ooh, collateral shots. Boom, boom. But yeah, I'm not looking to be 100% efficient. Let's do cast shot. Those generally seem to do a bit better with that. So, this unit of marines is getting awfully close. These guys aren't firing. Line infantry guard unit should fall. But yes, I'm having to really not abuse my artillery, but absolutely maximize the hell out of it. Hopefully none of these guys come back. Shattered, broken. So get them to return, rotate and fire them. Get these guys to hold fire completely. So these fuselets aren't shooting for some reason, is it? Because things are behind a wall. Because that one guy's reloading. There we go. Two guys died. That something's not right there. Come on, my general.
bring my general in in a flanking move movement. Go hit, uh, go hit all the main artillery down here first. Focus fire on the mercenaries. Let's follow these guys back. Good mass artillery route. My general is a difficulty. Oh, it absolutely is. Where he's getting shot from then. It was definitely my artillery that got him, but. I'll go for that. Line horse artillery. So it's a good idea to road to. I think my Germany thing is a good idea to keep making sure your lines are getting too thin, because they're, they're meant to be some sort of morale effect from firing volley after volley after volley rather than one large volley nothing one large volley nothing there is meant to be a benefit to doing that fortunately this is looking like the end times the guard engineers are in the woods but they will be swiftly engaged. That house is getting pounding. Mass target martyr on the foot guards, and I'm going to speed up time because they're. It's one unit. That's all that remains. Well, yeah, that unit's gone. The guards have gone. Excellent. End battle. Victory. Whew. <laughs> Um, I mean, it was a win, but it wasn't a clean win. It wasn't a pretty win, um, but it was a win. So I'll take that. That's right. Back you go, Sweden, you swines. We'll finish you off yet. There is a clamour for reform in this region due to the spreading of enlightened ideas. Ah, yes, because you are just a bit grumpy. So here, have some militia. New port emerges in Hispaniola. So the port is not bottlenecked by export capacity and I'll be able to upgrade the port again in future. So I'm going to go for a fishery. I've already got a dockyard over on this island so I may as well do something that gets a population boost, monetary boost. I, mean, I know technically another, per another commercial port is probably the best thing to do but I don't know. In my head, I like the idea of this being, you know, it's the main port, it's maximised, this is the, the efficient hub of where all the stuff goes. Platoon firing has been researched for my elite infantry units. Probably not want you research carbines. You go for free trade. You can go for carbines if you want something to do. A new Granada is going on for percussion shells, but I'm not super bothered about that. Uh, let's keep upgrading towns. Copenhagen's fortified. Uh -huh. Let's upgrade the Army Staff College. Let's absolutely replenish the St. Petersburg garrison and recruit two more units of line infantry to fill the gaps and hold the line. Yeah, you've gone to support right this here, army. Yeah, have a naval college, why not? Yes, yeah, so I want this army to move probably toward Moscow, ultimately. But I'm probably going to have a few more fights around St. Petersburg to try to clear out the local Russian forces. And I've also got this army at the Riga, so I'm going to probably want to do this. Then that. Maintain siege. Because if I, I didn't want to have any, resu any supporting troops from Courland coming in um, towards the rear. Trade gained, corporal and gold braid. Leonardo de Croix. Good man. You're at a bit of a loose end. You continue to move up and 
finish off these chaps. Let's get this infantry up here, ready to march up up the road towards Finland. Aha! Sven Rutkilde. Replenish. To be honest, I think I'm probably... Oh, I'm going to water resolve that because it's not a real army. It's all depleted and there's not much point. Victory! Like yeah, I'm all, I'm all for fighting as many battles as possible, but when it's when it's a pretty much defeated and destroyed garrison, I don't think there's much point. But to be honest, what I am tempted to do is try seek peace with Sweden. Peace. Peace with a threat. Nope, they're not happy about it. Well, that's fair enough. We'll go take um, Finland as well. Where's your university? There it is. Uppsala. Destroyed. Good, good, good. But yes, then this army will... Actually, I'll fall to repair you. Yeah, we do have a few um, marauding Swedish units, but we'll finish them off with these armies. This army, when it's replenished, will move up the road to provide the land-based threat, then these stacks will land off in Finland, or next to Finland, if it's hopeful. Hopefully, this army will draw Swedish forces northwards to engage them, then if they've drawn garrison forces away from Finland, they will join the fight and hit Finland. Cool, that sounds like a plan to me. Let's replenish you, but I'm pretty sure it's just the general. Yeah, it is. You're being replenished. Good. Sweden's captured. Upsar is being destroyed. Can I move you out? <laughs> Absolutely not. So then... And these forces here. Let's use you to knock out this marauding Prussian army. Good. So this army up here under Pedro Garocho, they will position themselves up against the border next to Moose Factory. This army will begin or prepare to engage the Prussians. See who's see I've got the damaged flag, but no one needs repairing. We're replenishing. Let's take my spy and I want to send them up to Moose Factory to see what's going on. Actually don't infiltrate, just stand near it. That's good enough. Church school? Church schools? Damned Prussians. But ideally I'd like them to move in to try and engage me. But we'll see. Because I'd like this army, when it mops up these two Prussian units, will stand here next to the border, next to Fort, Saint, Fort Salt St. Marie. And eventually when they declare war on the Huron, they will punch west and capture this territory. And this army will punch uh, west, capture Moose Factory. This army by then hopefully will be on the way or have captured York Factory because it's only a rebel faction. Cool. Sit in town. We want to got a third army up there. Well, they're definitely surplus to requirements. They are going to come over to Europe and land on Russian territory. That would be the, the attack that makes the most sense, I think. It's mildly frustrating that the Prussians and the Austrians having gone to war. Because while you generally don't... Well, as a as a British person, you don't want to see continental, uh, the continental Europe dominated by a single power. But it would be interesting to see in this game. But I will accept that, you know, sometimes you don't get to see what you want. So I could, I could move against the Prussians, but... To be honest, I want to try and knock out the Russians. Good, they're falling back, which gives me some breathing space. It means that my armies can move out and start to commence offensive operations. Which is primarily why I wanted St. Petersburg all this time. Ha! The Russians can't rely on stealing... No! Okay, I'm going to let them pass. 
Rumbo mm. Wasn't quite what I wanted. What I pretty much wanted was a bit of breathing space for my armies to um, have some, for my garrison primarily to have some time to replenish. I could have engaged them. Maybe I should have done. That might have been a smarter decision, but I'll, I'll accept not, not doing that. Rioting has broken out in this region. Yeah, they're fine now. Enemy raid, enemy raid, Upsala, so let's take you. Hit that stack. My mop it up. Mop it up, I said. Good, and replenish. Then knock it down. Because this is the sort of thing that will really hold up my ability to maintain control of this region. You attack them. Then head east. The Norwegian garrison. Them. Then come back to Norway. Let's do a bit of investment. Farms, weavers' cottage. I'm always reluctant to invest. There's marauding troops around. Steam pump iron mines fully upgraded. Great, the iron masters work. So these metal roads. No, they're just dirt roads. Fab. Let's bring them back. Construction. Norway has got mines. Norway needs new roads. Go back as an army board. There's a great X. I've got more money than I can than I know what to do with. Can I move them out now? Because now they have a happiness building. Nope. Still a couple of turns. Do some repairs. So you replenish. You come here and replenish. Oh, you are replenished. Move you, keep moving you up. Well, the Prussians won't come to me. I will come to the Prussians. To be honest, I might be with them, but you never know how that's going to end up. Sneaky, sneaky AI does not like it when you stop. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Mm, this is true, generally. Well, if you want to maintain your freedom. So, lump my artillery, the majority of it up on this hill, because it will be advancing. Because it's not a structured army, I'm not worried about making sure everything's optimised. Well, so far against the battery, but as you can see, they've lost five men, but none of their guns. Run. Closer to spot the gorillas.
Poor buggers, they have to be engaged by line infantry from the front. Lots of muskets misfiring though. Poor old dragoons, they're not going to have much of a good, good time of it either. Bodyguards about to pass into pass no firing position. We've got some hidden native musketmen, which is always fun. <laughs> Not the officer flat on his ass. But he's gonna get straight back. Or he literally did get straight back up. What the hell? Poor old Hessian line infantry. Chase the guerrillas to make sure they don't come back. Chase them to make sure they don't come back. Goes in, storm the guns. And to be honest, send all of you guys in, storm the line infantry, and halt all artillery fire. Ah, there's the native musketmen, and there's more irregulars. So, all my musketeers aren't necessarily very good at combat, they are good enough against regular uh, guerrillas because they're not very good either. God, the colonial line's broken. Okay, that's a, definitely a quick bang shot that's just gone in there, but... Go on, tag the general. Tag him. Good. And my general's going to be very, very happy smashing into those native bows while my infantry swamps their generals and pulls their chiefs of staff off of their horses. What you get for supporting the Germans, Prussia, um, <laughs> Native Americans, I'm afraid. See, you may be winning slightly, but it will not last. No way. Where's the general? Absolutely, still quickland going off, even though uh, I've completely missed an artillery unit. But to be fair, they have no flyer symbol. Speed up time. Keep an eye on my general to make sure they don't get too overwhelmed. Ah, he died. All of my artillery. Hit the bows. Ah, that's my fence. That's my, my mistake. Are they going to try? F no, they're going to try. I suppose this is a smart decision. Patrobus, am I going to engage? No, I'm absolutely going to melee you. Because these are marines and guard infantry. <laughs> so you go, uh oh. 
See, the remains of my general's bodyguard have come back. They're very mad at you. Get him! Okay, hold off. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is the thing with Empire, is that... Ooh, where have you come from? Well, <laughs> you got absolutely smashed by Quicklime. That's what happened. <laughs> Native American factions are the most frustrating to fight. Yeah, see, I lost more than I should have done. But... Oh, wow. They've managed, I've managed to chase them off right next to one of my regions. Well, let's spin you around and go that way. Because I'm going to lose a region because of that. Because the AI is... Because oh, they've routed around back to Niagara. Oh, well. It happens. I can't chase you down. And I want to do that. So that... They don't do anything frustrating and do any sneaky tactics. Cool, cool, cool. But yes, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.